Wisconsin and Minnesota, who started playing in 1906. NC State won the toss, the first to get the football in the second half. And we are underway in Robin. 3,000 yards and 20 touchdowns. And since winning the starting job this year, he's played well. He really has settled in, and yeah, I mean, he's been, been around the block a while. Started as a true freshman on the road at Florida, Florida State when he was at Boise, and they went in the portal, they made him his guy, and uh, he's really settled in and really opened up this passing attack, a passing attack that struggled last year. Demond Claiborne will call his name frequently today. Take it to him, and they throw it, and an easy catch on first down. Yards a season ago, and finished eighth in the Atlantic Coast Conference in all-purpose yards. One of the more underrated backs in the country, really. Banged up last week with a kneecap injury. Good to see him healthy today. They've got some uh, wounded players along that offensive line, starting with their outstanding center, Luke Pettibon. The legs right there of Bachmeyer into NC State territory, tackled at the 44 yard line. This is a great job up front. Keegan Truce, their right tackle. It's a lighter box utilizing Hank Bachmeyer's legs. You don't always see that from Bachmeyer, but when his numbers call, he's certainly capable. It's a 20 yard run for Bachmeyer. It's a first down. Good start for Wake Forest. Good protection and a bullet. Just outside the 35, that is caught by Taylor Marin. What a career Marin has had. Ranks in the top four all-time at Wake Forest in both receptions and reform. Oh. Hold on to it a little while, and that's a big game by Claiborne inside the 20. And that'll move the chains again for the Demon Deacons. And this is how Claiborne's game. 18-yard run for Claiborne, and they fake it to him. This receiver right there, he had Moren wide open, and that could have been a touchdown if he connects on that slant. Although, maybe, Max, he was looking outside. And it took a while for him to get the ball out of his hands, too. A little, almost a rub. And he's taking pressure on Bachmeyer, too. If Wake Forest is going to do that patented slow mesh that they have, you've got to heat things up on Bachmeyer and force him to get the ball out of his hands quickly. Second down and 10, and they're going to throw it. Pump fake. What a catch! Somehow, some way, able to haul that one in is Micah Mays Jr. A little vertical route out of the backfield, but credit Brandon Cisse, the DB for uh, North, North Carolina State, coming up with a good stop there. Matthew Dennis has only missed once all year long, and that was the final try last week in the loss to Louisiana. And this one, he bangs through the uprights. Good start for the Demon Deacons. 31-yard field goal, 3-0 lead. You're watching CW Football Saturday. And was told at a young age he might not be able to play athletics. Well, he was a two-time ACC Player of the Year and a National Football League Most Valuable Player. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. What a career Jacoby Brissett's carved out for he himself, really too. Has. It's been a spot starter, and I'm sure he embraces it. Says, sweet, you want to... Uh... Give me uh, the keys to your franchise for half a season, full season. I'll take it. That guy's going to end up playing probably 15, 20 years in the NFL. Seriously. Yeah. Buddy up with Drake May, be his backup for a little while when the time comes. Through the back of the end zone and out trots for the first time in three weeks, Grayson McCall. 23 years young in his sixth year of college football. Spent five years at Coastal Carolina, three-time Sunbelt Conference Player of the Year. Last year, he got hurt. He only played in seven games. He's had some head injuries, and again this year, suffered three weeks ago against Louisiana Tech. But he man, when he's healthy, he's a good one. One of the biggest gets in the transfer portal this spring. He's going to come out pump fake and looking down the middle of the field. Protection breaks down. And just throws it away. He had an eye on Noah Rogers along the sideline. What do you like about McCall's game? I think he just opens up this passing attack. He can do a little bit of everything from the pocket. Plays on time. Got enough arm strength to make all the throws. And I thought C.J. Bailey, their true freshman backup quarterback, played well. I mean, for a true freshman to come on the road versus Clemson and do something, hey, he's the future quarterback. But in terms of opening up the passing attack both horizontally and vertically down the field, that's certainly what McCall can do. 
as he pitch and catch to Rodgers across the 30 yard line it'll bring up a third down you know we talked about C.J. Bailey he made back-to-back -back starts last week the offense a total of 171 yards in the win fewest total yards by any winning team so far this season and the fewest in an NC State win going back to 99 and I thought the play calling they made a concerted effort to you know not ask Bailey to do too much trust your defense kind of thing these great throws is a first down big hit and is that a penalty flag coming down yes it is Wesley Grimes with the catch and boy did he take a hit from Devon Patterson after the play personal foul targeting defense number 13 13 We're not even a handful of plays into the game on defense. And Patterson, the redshirt freshman out of Miami, Florida, is gone. I can't stress enough, too. It's a secondary that struggled. Keep an eye on that storyline for the rest of the game, especially as you have a very capable passer in McCall back in this game. So Darius Kelly takes over for him. How about this right here? Wide open inside the 20, still on his feet, is Justin Jolie. Second leading receiver, this big tight end. And that's a big one. Good execution by the NC State offense. Second down and 10 for 19. No gain on the first down carry by Waters. And now it'll be Kendrick Raphael checking into the backfield. He's led the Wolfpack three games this year in rushing, including a career 91 against Clemson. And they try to throw it to him out of the backfield, broken up. So third down and 10 for the Wolfpack. Good execution so far. You had two guys right there in the same same zone. Good job by Wake Forest coming up. And you said it, Tom. I mean, to start this drive, it's a totally different offensive identity than we saw last week. It was very much run and then play action bootleg off of it. So far today, it's been pass happy and for a reason. You have weapons out wide. You have receivers that you want. This is the game to do it. And, of course, the uh, pass defense, as you've talked about already, Max, is uh, really, really being bad for Wake Forest. To get to the eight yard line. The ball is loose and it's picked up by Wake Forest. Taking off the other way is Evan Slocum. Still on his feet inside the 40. He's got two men to beat down the sideline. Cuts it back to the inside and he's going to take it to the house. Or is he? No, he's one yard short. But a critical turnover injured at the other end of the field is a Wake Forest. North Carolina State sideline. Down on the knee in prayer. Man, oh man, oh man. This is uh, this is hard to see. When I push. Well, we're not going to show the hits, plural. Two of them to the head area. Crowd really upset as they did show it on the replay board here inside the stadium. First down and goal after the 88 yard return. Bachmeyer hands it off to Claiborne and he's stuck right at the line of scrimmage. 3 0 in favor of Wake Forest. Went down the field on its opening drive, had to settle for the field goal try. And then after the hit, the fumble. Big return by Evan Slocum. The Demon Deacons in business. Going to throw it wide open is Claiborne, and that was a touchdown. Quarterback took a hit, just waiting for Claiborne to release. That is his first receiving touchdown of the year. And it's a sixth touchdown thrown by Bachmeyer. They tried their playmaker. It's a great job by that Wake Forest to get it in. 
Dennis for the point after. And it's right down the middle to make it a 10 0 Demon Deacons lead. Of course, the crowd doesn't feel that way watching one of their own go down. And if we get any kind of an update from uh, Annabelle Myers and the crew with the North Carolina State Sports Information Department from their locker room, we'll let you know. Trevor, uh, well, what's it like down there? It was obviously in the immediate aftermath devastation, right? Having a quarterback that just got returned from injury to suffer uh, something like that. Davin Van visibly distraught on the sideline specifically. However, when the business resumed, it was business as usual on the sideline as well. These gentlemen understand that there's still a job to do, and they have locked back in, understanding that they still have confidence in the young man stepping behind center right now. All right, and that young man is C.J. Bailey. He started... The last two games was very impressive. His first collegiate start against Clemson. And an easy throw to Concepcion, but no gain on first down. Bailey's a true freshman. 6'6", 210-pounder. Grew up in Miami, Florida. Won two state championships and was the two-time Florida high school true freshman. Two weeks ago to all, go on the road versus Clemson. Last I thought he did some good things. He is totally capable within the pocket, and that his, leg, his legs can certainly be a factor if things break down. Throws to the sideline. That's a nice throw in between defenders, and the catch is made for a first down right at the 40-yard line. To Concepcion is more of their slot, smaller, quick guy weapon. Mission to see track, or mission to track two offensively. Do they open it up? Do they continue to open it up with C.J. Bailey behind center? Or do they go more conservative? made along the near sideline and that goes to Anderson close to midfield he'll be a yard or two short up to the 48 yard line remember now the very first drive of the game against NIU last week I mean Bailey took him right down the field but then you know he, he went seven for seven they go eight play 64 yards left a lot on the field which was terrible on third down too last week Spins his way out of the tackle, and he's down to the 45-yard line. It's good pickup on first down. Playmakers to do something with it. That gives you, that gives the offensive coordinator trust to call that next downfield passing attempt, knowing that they can trust their young quarterback to check it down and utilize his playmakers. Thank you very much, Trevor Scales. Third down and a yard. They line up in the shotgun. Boy, how the game has changed, Mr. Brown. They hand it off to Rafael, and he spins his way just enough for a first down. I mean, what happened to the days of Woody Hayes and Bo Schembechler getting up under center? So first down and 10 at the Wake Forest 41-yard line. They fake the handoff. Breaking a tackle of the 25 inside the 20 is Wesley Grimes. Boy, some missed tackles out there by the Demon Deacons on defense. And that's been a big problem all year long. Good accurate throw on the outside lane. Yeah, Grimes played two seasons for the Demon Deacons. Played in 19 games last year. Had 20 catches and four touchdowns for him. First and 10 at the 17. Wolfpack trying to get on the board. Wide receiver screen to Concepcion. At that time, the Demon Deacon defense was able to answer the bell. And Trevor mentioned it to open the game. Getting Kevin Concepcion involved in this game plan. That's always the key when you have a star receiver. Find different ways to get him the rock. One of the top reception getters in the ACC. Slow last week, but just a unique weapon. It doesn't have to always be... You know, pure progression passing concepts where he's down the field. He can do some jet sweeps. He can line up in the backfield. We saw that last week for his touchdown catch. Does a little bit of everything. And that is a catch made. No, they're saying no. Concepcion looking at the uh, 
I think Dorn has uh, a reason to be uh, on the reps there. It's close. Six of seven is Bailey. Tenth play of the drive. Steps up. And as soon as he throws, he took a big shot down there. Why right does he cut it loose from Bryce Gaines? The transfer from Villanova. So now a field goal try. It's good peers. That group really has to get going to help a secondary, like we said, that's struggling. Kanoa Vinesett has hit six of seven field goals and make it seven of eight field goals. So Bailey comes into the game, and on his first drive, they got a touchdown. Really with Vegas. I mean, a wild night. 44-41 orange win in overtime. So we check in a full slate of conference games today. That Louisville SMU game is a big game because both teams are going to figure to be right in the thick of this whole thing. We've talked about it. When you talk about the hierarchy of the ACC, I think it's Miami in Tier 1, Clemson, I think, emerged by themselves in year two, but that, or in Tier 2. But that Tier 3, you mentioned SM, SMU, Louisville, Boston College, Duke's up there, Syracuse can put up a lot of points, this NC State squad. I mean, it'll be, it'll be fun to see how this conference shakes out. Yeah, it really will. North Carolina's playing at home. Pitt, another year-old alma mater, uh, undefeated so far this year. That's a first down reception up close to the 40-yard line to Taylor Morin. Just trying not to be biased up here, you know? I know, no but I mean, uh, they're playing good football. <laughs> but that's a big game right. down the road in Chapel Hill today. No doubt. And one last point, too, to last drive, too. I'm a little surprised Dave Dorn didn't challenge that third down. Third and ten, when you're down ten points already in this game, it's a lot different than third and five with a young quarterback. Warren the catch, and they're going to throw it again, and there was a miscommunication there. Yeah, but that played it. Kevin Concepcion last drive was close enough to at least uh, take a chance on it. Wake Forest, Demon Deacons, most points. First quarter of the season, it's a good start. It's a team that's lost two games by one possession, and when you lose games like that, you can look back to slow starts, missed opportunities in the red zone. So far, that hasn't necessarily been the case for the Demon Deacons. Trying to air it out once more to Morin. Incomplete, brings up third down and 10. You know, a... Uh, it's funny, you can put up numbers and back them up 40 plus points. Nearly batted into the arms of Mays. Good coverage out there by Corey Coley. If so you're Wake Forest, you want your receiver to come down with it. Coley's saying, uh, not on my watch. Jalen Coit stands back, waiting on the Ivan Warren punt. And it was not a good one. Let's see where they're going to spot this thing. Fischl streaking up the sideline. Crosses a 40. First down, double reverse. Concepcion, they're just trying to get the ball in his hands. And a pickup of close to five yards on first down. If you're just joining us, a very scary injury. Rush to the hospital. NC State starting quarterback Grayson McCall. We're all thinking about him and praying for him and his family. If we get any further update, Trevor will be all over it. It's a 10 3 ball game. CJ Bailey started the last two games. He took over for the injured McCall in the Louisiana Tech game and led him on three scoring drives to come from behind and win that game. Big hole right there for Jordan Waters. And he carries it down to Demon Deacon's territory to the 41-yard line. First down, Wolfpack. Dave Doran challenged his offensive line two weeks ago to start playing together. He knew they were a physical, tough unit. But time to start playing together, and that's a zone run scheme where you are having your offensive linemen almost sprint to the sideline, and it's a good, good vision by Waters putting his right foot in the ground. Cutting up against the uh, up against the grain. It's a tough spot to be in if you're a linebacker. It's just a lot of grass to cover. He 
Keep it on the ground to Waters once more, and he just keeps those legs moving and those feet moving. And that's a big pickup on first down of close to eight yards. It is eight yards. What a pick it. Yeah, he really had a good year last season for Duke. 12 rushing touchdowns, fourth most in the ACC, average over five a carry. Better than 700 rushing yards for the Blue Devils. One more play, at least in the corner, and right through the hands of Waters. So the clock stops with eight ticks remaining in this opening period. I was curious how we were going to see this offense maybe change with C.J. Bailey being the guy, and it really hasn't. I think it's much more open, especially compared to last week. You're seeing Concepcion line up in the backfield, motioning outside. You're getting to game three for C.J. Bailey. It's no longer brand new. It's no longer the jitters of being a, a first-time starter type of thing. Wouldn't be surprised if they continue to stick with this mentality of being aggressive, pushing the ball downfield. Well, they got a third down and two here, and they're going to run it with Waters. And he has enough for a first down inside the 30. And that's the way the opening... Có phải là tên tổng thoát? Chỉ có thế thôi sao? Nên su cầu vẫn tiếp tục chiến đấu với con quỷ ném bóng. Đừng đá vào nó na ghét yêu kê đằng sau. Vui lắm vui lắm cú đá thật là hoàn hảo. Chúng ta có thể mang đầu của bốn tên này theo được chứ? Không chỉ hai thôi. Kẻ tẩu thoá và tên săn quỷ. Liều thuốc này mình phải làm gì bây giờ? Mình không được sẽ giúp chân em hồi phục. Tốc độ như mùi tên này, chúng sẽ không biến mất nếu chưa tấn công được vào. Khi thanh kiếm mình tiếp xúc với chúng nó lại, bay ra theo hướng khác. Mình không thể chém chúng bây giờ mình phải làm gì đây? Ha ha mọi thứ đều nằm trong dự tính của ta. Xem ta soạn nát cánh tay người đây. Đầu tiên mình sẽ sử dụng thể thứ 6.